glad you guys joined us for U-Turn 180. There comes trouble right there. Ooh. Caleb Dunbar in the flesh. What do you think about that? Man, his future's so bright. He started coming to U-Turn 180, and look how, look how cool he is now. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Where's that located at, Caleb? Ephesians 4.29. Awesome. Okay, here we are. I'm Pastor Mike Stroud with U-Turn 180, and I'm here with Adrian and Jalen. And uh, today, guys, we're talking about the words of our mouth, you know, and how people treat one another and gossip and stuff like that. How's that affecting you guys in school? What are the kids doing in school right now? I hear gossip like every day about somebody that I don't know and everybody makes a big deal about it and I could care less what somebody I don't know is doing. I mean, I really don't care, but it seems to affect a lot of people and get a lot of people in more trouble than they want to get into. Now, Jacqueline, what about you? How do you feel when somebody talks about you and says something that's not true? Um, well, some kids at school talk about other kids that, well, I know everyone there, but there's just some other kids that make fun of them. Right. And Adrian said, I really don't care. And, like, if they talk about me, then I try to stop them. What does the Bible say about what we should do? You know, the Bible says, let everything that comes out of your mouth minister grace to the hearers. So we should be really trying to concentrate on lifting each other up instead of putting each other down, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Gossip's a sin anyways. It is a sin, and a lot of times people, you know, don't think about it like that, but we should call sin what it is, and sin is just missing the marks, what the Bible says. It's just, you know, not doing the right thing. And Another thing about gossip is it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's corrupting the truth. And, uh, you know, God and the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, He's a spirit and He, and, and he always honors truth. And we have to honor truth in everything we do. And, uh, you know, if you're, you're speaking bad about somebody, if you don't have something good to say about somebody, just don't say anything at all. What do y'all think about that? That's good. That's perfect. Yeah, that's the way we need to live each and every day. What you going to play for us, Caleb? I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out what's in here. Adrian, what's been happening with you, man? Talk to me. You play every instrument known to man, don't you? <laughs> Not string instruments. Not string instruments. You're going to start playing, though, right? Yeah, we're going to start playing string instruments. But um, uh, Speaking of instruments, though, we went to the MPA band festival which is like a competition but there's no it's kind of like a competition but you're not actually competing against other schools you just get rated and we got all superiors which is the highest rating you can get awesome is that with freedom yes man that's awesome so you're a freedom patriot and Caleb, where you go to school at Patton. Patton. and you're on the swim team no track team i thought you swam also though i did that that's over with though okay but Michael Phelps is coming to Charlotte, right? Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. And so, and Jalen, where you go to school at? Glen Alpine. Glen Alpine. And they're getting ready to close your school, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it rocks. He'll be a, a man without a school. Well, he's going to Table Rock anyway. They're not closing it down to the end of the year. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it's not going to affect him. And what about you? Draw high. I wasn't talking to you, Caleb. I was talking to the guy behind you. Oh. I was talking to Tiki. <laughs> Tiki, where are you going? <laughs> Caleb, I was talking to you. You know I'm messing with you. <laughs> you got a drone. Yeah. Now, do y'all draw it drone? No. <laughs> That's a crazy name. Where did they come up with a name like drone? Is it named after somebody? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jimmy C. Drone. And what did Jimmy do? Did he draw? No. <laughs> That's the way he gave it. Get... Rub, rub Tiki's, uh, rub Tiki's beard, no, Caleb. You sure? Yeah, Are you scared of Tiki? Man, he gonna hurt his feelings. Oh man, there's a train. Rock and roll. Wait, the train just passed like five minutes ago. Man, we should have went up to the tracks. It's like an interdimensional loop or something. Dude, are you crazy? We should have went up to the tracks on the trains going. Yeah. Yeah, we can like, yeah, we can like see you get jump out of the way the fastest. Contest, yeah. Or oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta get some signed contracts first. I don't yeah. think the parents are gonna let me Let's do that. So, are y'all liking what we're doing at U-Turn 180? 
That's all oh, yeah. fun. It's a little different, ain't it? This is my first yeah. time. This is your first time. Well, what we're doing is we're engaging each other. You know, I'm not like a regular youth person. I like to engage people. I like to get them playing guitars, get on film. Caleb, you're pretty good on the guitar. Here you turn 180, we love fig newtons. You're real mature. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Whatever. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, real mature. Real mature. <laughs> <laughs>